In this video tutorial, we're going to be talking about stinger transitions in vMix, just like this one. G'day everyone, Tim from vMix here, and that's right, we're talking about stinger transitions, or stingers for short. Stingers are those cool transitions that you'll see on things like live sports production, where a giant logo comes flying out at you, it appears full screen for a second to display something, uh, and then the content behind it is transitioned. Now they're frequently used for switching between live content and replay footage in live sports and esports. It lets the viewers know that they're watching a replay instead of the live footage, and it also allows the broadcaster to create a dynamic effect in their production. And let's face it, it also allows them extra time to slip in a few more sponsors during the transition. Now stingers can also be made to make more exciting transitions for your everyday content like this tutorial. Stingers use inputs with some transparency. So you'll see it move across the screen and then go full screen when it wants to display that content. And then behind it, a cut transition is performed. Now there are a number of ways of doing this in vMix. First of all, in vMix 24 and later, we have some inbuilt GT Stinger templates. So with just a couple of clicks, you can add your own Stinger directly into vMix. Now you can also create your own Stinger templates using the GT Title Designer. And thirdly, you can also create your own Stinger using your own video file with Alpha. So one that you might have purchased off a stock video website or built your own in something like After Effects. Now this video here is going to go over how to use the templates in vMix. So if you would like to know how to build your own in the GT Title Designer or use your own video files, check out the links in the description for the full length videos on those. So as I mentioned, in vMix 24, we've added some GT Stinger templates. So in order to use one, you just need to go to the Add Input menu and then add the title. So we're gonna do that now. We're gonna to go to Add Input, and then we're going to go down to Title, and then you'll see this new tab here that says GT Stingers. So as you can see, we have a number of different templates that you can use as a part of your production. Some of them have the ability to have logos, some of them don't. Now, if you have great ideas for stingers, drop us an email and we can add some new templates in upcoming versions. All right, so I'm going to select this top one here and then click OK. Now, if it has the ability to have an image, you'll see this here, you'll see a, an image section over the side, and then you can browse and select what image you wanna use. So I'm gonna browse, I'm going to select this Quokka here because this video tutorial is proudly sponsored by Quokka VPN for all your VPN needs. I'm gonna click OK here. Now, this is a PNG file, so it does have some alpha, so it's not just a, like a square or a rectangle. It's got a bit of an outline, which makes it a little bit cooler, I guess. All right, so now that I've selected that, I can just close out the title editor. Like all the other titles in vMix, if you wanted to change that element, right-click on it, title editor, and you can change the logo that you've got there. All right, so now that we've added that stinger into vMix, what we need to do is set up our stinger channel. So we can do that by going down to the overlay section in the bottom right hand corner and clicking on overlay. Then from the drop down menu here, you can select Stinger 1, 2, 3, or 4. So I'm just going to select Stinger 1 for today. Next of all, we need to select the Stinger title that we've just added. So down here, you'll see Stinger input. So from the drop down menu, select the one that we've just added, the Stinger one here. Now, from the top here, you've got type, full screen, because it's a stinger and it's going full screen, we wanna keep that full screen. Uh, the effect needs to be cut, because we wanna include all of the uh, animations and everything, the way that the template's been built. Uh, the duration, effect duration here, doesn't need to be changed because a cut ignores that, because it happens instantly. And finally, next to the actual input here, you'll see a section called display underneath overlays. Now, if you've got a bug or a permanent logo that you might wanna keep, uh, on your screen, no matter what's happening, even during a stinger transition, you might wanna tick this box here. But you can play around that and see how it fits your production. I'm gonna leave that unticked today. And then I'm gonna click OK down the bottom. So now we're good to use uh, Stinger 1 in our production. Let me just load this over here so we can cut between two different things. Uh, how do we make it actually transition? So we can use our transition panel in the middle here. We can click the little arrow here and select one as Stinger 1. And now when we click that, it will use this Stinger uh, to switch between my two shots, like so. So it's fairly straightforward once you've got that there. Now, obviously you can set up a shortcut as well. So if we go into the shortcuts here, 
So instead of making it a cut transition, we just need to select Stinger 1. So I'm just going to select B, for example. And on the functions for transition here, where you'd normally choose a fade or a cut, you just go down here to Stinger 1 or whatever Stinger you've set up and then choose what input you're wanting to switch the Stinger to. All right, so I'm going to close out of that now. So now we have a Stinger in our production. We have a lot of people that ask, well, how do I get audio with that as well? So although it's not officially sort of supported, you could add audio to a layer of that Stinger and it will play when you use that Stinger. So first of all, what you would do is go to Add Input and then select an MP3 or a WAV file here and then click OK. Now you'll need to make sure that the file that you're using is the same length or shorter than the Stinger file because it's going to be cut off when the Stinger transition finishes. You don't want to have it too long. You want to make sure that it's the same length or shorter. All right, so then what we need to do is we need to make sure the audio is on for that particular input. We'll go in here and we'll just adjust it to not automatically mix audio. Um, let's just have it automatically restart as well. Okay, so now we have our Stinger audio. We need to adjust our Stinger input. So we go into the settings, go into layers. We just need to select a layer and choose our audio file. And we can even, we just wanna untick this box here. So it's not gonna display, but it still will play the audio. And then we will uh, just close that out. And I'm just gonna adjust this audio because it's gonna probably be quite loud. So now when we do the Stinger transition effect, it should play the audio also. So there you go. That now has audio available when we use that Stinger effect. Okay, so if you do wanna build your own Stingers using the vMix GT Title Designer, check out the video that we've created for that. It'll go through how to set up the transition in, the transition out point and add animations and all that kind of stuff. Or if you've got your own video file that you need to use as a Stinger, check out the video that we have in the description for that as well. So if you do have any questions about vMix, feel free to drop us an email. Um, it's really hard to do diagnostics and technical support via YouTube comments. So drop us an email via the support page on vmix.com. So thanks for watching and we'll stream you later. Now that you've reached the end of this video, here are a couple of other things that might tickle your fancy. If you like to keep up to date with vMix videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. For a free 60-day trial of vMix Pro, head over to vmix.com.